Hey guys, this is a quick video to show you how to download and run this .NET Core 3.1 JWT auth example on your local machine. I'll be going through the steps on this tutorial that I'll link to in the video description below. And what we'll be going through in this video today, uh, this section, running it locally, and this section, testing with Postman. So what you need to already have running on your machine are these tools for running .NET Core applications. So if you don't have these installed yet, pause the video and install these tools so you can run .NET Core applications locally. Okay, let's get started. First thing to do is to jump over to GitHub to get the GitHub repo URL so we can clone our repository and get our code. Clicking this green button, we can copy the repo URL with this button here. And I'll jump over to a command window, go into my projects directory and type the command git clone to clone the repo. And I'll cd into that folder and type .NET run to start the API. And then we can see that the API started on localhost 4000. Okay, that's all we need to do for starting the API. We're up and running now. We'll go back to see how we can test it using Postman. So if you don't have Postman installed yet, you can go to this URL to install the Postman tool. It's a uh, good tool for testing APIs. So I'll jump over to Postman now. This is what it looks like and I'll just jump back to the browser to see our instructions. So we want to we want to test how to authenticate a user. Our, our API has a test user hard coded in it with the username and password test and test. So we want to open a new request tab by clicking the plus button here, changing it to a post request, entering in the URL to the authenticate path of our API. And we want to change the body or set the body to JSON type and then enter the username and password. Okay, now if we send that, okay, we can see that that was successful and it's returned our user details, first name, last name, username, and our JWT auth token. Okay, next step is we want to try to make an authenticated request to retrieve all the users from the API. So there's a uh, restricted endpoint, which uh, is at the slash users route to retrieve all users, and we need to use an auth token to get to retrieve things from that if that endpoint. So I'll copy that token down there that we were, that we got back from that that response. Open a new tab and enter the path to the users route. Leave it as a get request and I'll just show you that if we try to hit that without any auth token, we can see that there's a 401 unauthorized response. So we'll jump over to the author authorization tab, switch to bearer token, and enter the token that you've just copied from the body of the previous request. And then hit send. Okay, great. We've got a 200 response, and you can see the user details there. Okay, that's it. That's how you download and run this API locally and test it with Postman. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.